Sir Topham had arrived on Thomas, with Chuff behind with Scruff. Sir Topham Hatt was cross. Whiff's waste dump was a mess. Garbage cars were everywhere. They hadn't been emptied into the garbage crusher. And Gordon was nowhere to be seen. Gordon, where are you? Gordon shuddered with shame. Here I am, sir. But try as he might, Gordon couldn't puff out to Sir Topham Hatt. All the tracks were blocked by freight cars. Oh, the indignity. No, Gordon. Oh, the silliness. On clean Sodor Day, no job was more important than to be in charge of Whiff's waste dump. Gordon stopped huffing and heaving. Sir, I have not been a really useful engine. I thought I was too grand to work with garbage. But I was being silly. Whiff, you are a very grand and important engine. Whiff was surprised. No one had called him grand before. Don't worry, Gordon. I can help you. No, I can help you. I will shunt all these garbage wagons into the garbage crusher. Uh, please, sir, may Whiff pull the express car to Brendam Docks to pick up the island inspector? Yes, he can. Whiff thought his pistons would pop with pride. Thank you, Gordon. Right away, Gordon. Express coming through. I'll help you, Gordon! Thank you, Scruff. I'll huff and I'll puff till the whole dump is clean. Later, Whiff's waste dump was tidy and clean. Then Whiff chuffed cheerfully in with Sir Topham Hatt and the island inspector. And this, sir, is Whiff's waste dump. Whiff is usually in charge. Today, he has been helped by Gordon. Very good work, Gordon. Very good work indeed. This made Gordon very proud indeed. Whiff whistled. Scruff cheered. Hooray! And Gordon glowed. Hooray for Clean Sodor Day! A job well done! I may be quite smelly, but it really was fun! Please, sir, I will have my lamp fixed. Then I will race like the wind to deliver Farmer McCall and Farmer Trotter to Brendam. Later, I will pick up the very important visitors. Just then, Thomas puffed in. He had the workman with James's lamp in his cab. This time, James let the workman fit the lamp, and he didn't feel silly. Edward steamed in. Hello, James. Your lamp looks good. I know. Now I can see really well in the dark. But you are still late, James. James was worried. Then, an idea flew into his funnel. Sir, can Thomas and Edward pick up the visitors? And I will go to Brendam. That's a good idea, James. Then you must come straight back here. Yes, sir. So, James set off for Brendam Docks. His new lamp glowed brightly in the dark. James arrived at the docks just in time. Goodbye! Then, James pumped his pistons. He set off once more for the town hall. James chuffed happily along. Now, he could see everything in the dark. James liked having a lamp. 
I can see how beautiful Sodor looks at night. James puffed into the town square. Alicia Bati was singing sweetly. Then James gasped. There was another surprise. Thomas and Edward were using their strong lamps to light the concert. Please, sir, may I shine my lamp on Miss Bati? Then everyone will see her for miles around. Very well, James. Now, James didn't feel silly at all. He felt very, very important. And when Alicia Bati smiled at him, James couldn't have felt more proud of his bright, beaming lamp. Sir, I will shunt Gordon to the steamworks. Victor will make sure his funnel is free and his firebox fizzes. Then, Gordon can take you on the tour of Sodor, and I can be really useful. Sir Topham Hatt was happy to hear this. Very well, Thomas. So Thomas heaved and hauled his hardest and shunted Gordon glumly away from the docks. At the steamworks, Victor was happy to welcome Gordon and Thomas. Well, Thomas, my friend, what have we here? Gordon grumped and groaned. Gordon's funnel is blocked with coal dust. He needs a clear funnel and a fizzing firebox. Then he has come to the right place. Gordon, please stop looking so unhappy. It's only your funnel we must fix, not your pistons that won't pump. Soon, Gordon's funnel was fixed. His firebox was fiery, and he was ready and raring to take Sir Topham Hatt and the railroad inspector on a tour of the island, and of all the really useful and very busy engines on Sodor. Thomas steamed swiftly back to the docks. He knew he had a lot of work to do. At the docks, Thomas started to shunt and shove. He huffed his hardest. Shunting cars, I do the best. I biff and bash and never rest. And he didn't see Sir Topham Hatt and the railroad inspector arrive. They watched Thomas. Thomas, you are a really useful engine. I am very proud of you. And I am very pleased to see such a busy engine. I wasn't sure, but now I know Sir Topham Hatt's railroad is the best. Thomas beamed and gleamed. Sir Topham Hatt smiled and smiled with pride. Silly me, I was so wrong. I can shunt the whole day long. Never stop, never rest. A busy engine is the best. <laughs>